the time of the year when I root through my old folder with my recipe collection again. Many years ago, my mum went through the tedious task of typing up her Christmas recipes for me. On a manual typewriter that was. And how grateful I am still for this. Every year her fruit and nut cakes are a must on my seasonal baking list. These delicious cakes are so easy to make. You'll find the list of ingredients in the description under the video. All fruit and nuts need to be chopped, so whatever you can't buy already chopped goes under the knife. In my case the Brazil nuts, the hazelnuts, the figs and the prunes. While I was chopping I let the butter melt slightly near the stove. First I mixed the butter with the sugar and the pinch of salt. Then I whisk the eggs in a separate bowl. And pour them into the butter sugar mixture. More mixing follows. Then I'm ready to add the fruit and nuts. In what order doesn't matter at all, as long as it all goes in. It is important to mix everything well. Then I mix the cinnamon and ground cloves and baking powder with the flour. And add the flour to the fruit and nut mix. If you want you can add a bit of brandy or rum for taste. When the batter is mixed well, it is ready to be spooned on a baking tray layered with some baking paper. Make heaps the size of a small fist. And off they go for 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. They are cooked through when you can lift them easily off the tray and the underside is slightly brown. Let the cakes cool on a rack overnight. These fruit and nut cakes are delicious with your afternoon tea, but because they are solid and sturdy they can be easily taken on winter picnics as well. It's have arrived. Yes, the hard working Tim. Hello. And per donkey delivery. Ooh, nice. Ooh. And donkeys like them yeah. too. I'd like to try some. I think Nell would like it. Oh, I'm sure you would. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> you have a little corner. No, don't, don't eat. Don't eat the napkin. No. <laughs> you can have a little corner, okay? There you go. Corner. Yeah, I have to get a big corner, please. Don't eat the napkin. <laughs> And uh, I bought some coffee too. Lovely, thank there you. you. Go. So um, okay. have a break. Will do. <laughs> you like it, don't you? Yeah. Well, that's uh, very flattering. Thanks, Ned. <laughs> Good baking, eh? <laughs>